Business Report. The Joy Business Minute will come your way at 8 a.m. Right now, though, it's a Joy Business Report coming up this morning. Banks wrote off 2.416 billion cities as bad debt in the first eight months of this year. Also, interest rates surge for the 34th week run and to hit 33.34%. We hear from the latest auction results of treasury bills by the Bank of Ghana and the Bank of Ghana to sustain dollar support for banks this week as it takes new measures to address the sudden pressure on the city. Details coming up. My name is Daryl Kwan. Thanks for being with us this morning. Hello to our friends listening from Kofuridi on KTU Radio. Banks wrote off 2.416 billion cities as bad debt in the first eight months of this year, about 36.4% growth over the previous year. That's according to highlights of banks' income statement by the Bank of Ghana. This is compared with 1.713 billion cities uh, bad loans recorded in the first six months of this year. Here's more in this business desk analysis. The provisioning was made up of loan losses, depreciation among others. According to the Bank of Ghana, the banking industry's asset quality weakened during the period under review, reflected by the pickup in the non-performing loan stock and non-performing loan ratio. The industry's NPL ratio rose to 20% in August 2023 from 14.3% in August 2022. However, adjusted for the fully provisioned loan loss category, the industry's NPL ratio increased sharply to 9% from 3.8% during the same review period due to increasing shares of both substandard and doubtful loans in the NPL stock. The rise in the NPL ratio was attributable to the higher growth in the NPL stock relative to the growth in total loans during the reference period. The banking industry's NPL stock increased by 53.6% to 14.5 billion cities in August 2023 from 9.5 billion cities in August 2022. This is partly reflecting the revaluation of foreign currency NPLs as well as deterioration in some domestic currency loans. Meanwhile, investment in treasury bills now constitutes a uh, bank's largest investment portfolio. According to the September 2023 Monetary Policy Report, the share of T-bills grew sharply to 51% in August 2023 from 17.8% in August 2022. It said the significant increase in the share of the short-term investments can be attributed to limited uh, trading on the medium to long-term instruments because of the domestic debt exchange program. Interest rates set for the 34th week running, according to the latest auction of treasury bills by the Bank of Ghana. The higher interest rates culminated in the elevated demand for the short-term financial instruments, enabling the government to achieve a 35.16% oversubscription of the T-bills. Here's more. The surging interest rate raised concerns about the rising cost of domestic debt at the shorter end of the market. According to the latest T-bills auction, the 91-day bill reached 29.73% as against 29.19% a week ago. Similarly, the 182-day bill shot up by one. Um, and that was a business desk report. Apologies, uh, we got truncated there. Well, the Bank of Ghana has indicated its preparedness to sustain the increase in dollar support for commercial banks this week. That's what Joy Business has picked up from persons close to the central bank and some bank treasurers. Here's more. The Bank of Ghana was heavy on the market in terms of dollar support for the commercial banks. This, according to some of the bank treasurers that Joy Business has engaged, could be one of the main reasons for the sudden slowdown in the rate of depreciation against the dollar compared to some two weeks ago. Joy Business understands the central bank will increase the level of support for the commercial banks to deal with the sudden demand for dollars. The Bank of Ghana is also looking at carrying out its dollar auction for the bulk oil distribution firm this week, another measure that would help deal with the current pressure on the Ghana city. The Bank of Ghana believes this, together with other measures, should help slow the rate of depreciation by the Ghana city against the US dollar. Officials of the Bank of Ghana have also told Joy Business that there is no need to panic as the outlook of the local currency remains favorable. This is due to the expected inflows from the World Bank, the IMF and the African Development Bank on the end 
of next month. Central Bank believes that it has also been able to build some gold reserves over the last month that would put it in a strong position to also defend the Ghana city in the coming months, especially the first quarter of next year. George, I feel with that report, let's uh, take a look at the currency market as we begin a new week. Uh, this morning, the dollar going for 12 cities, 5 pesos. That's on the Forex or retail market. The pound going for 14 cities, 68 pesos. And the euro going for 12 cities, 60 pesos. In other news, the Public Interest and Accountability Committee is asking the Finance Ministry to comply with uh, the Petroleum Revenue Management Act. The authority says the ministry should release funds to the national oil company later than three working days after the receipt of petroleum revenue into the Petroleum Holding Fund. This was revealed in a semi-annual report. Here's chairman of the committee, Professor Kwame Adon Pong. As of now, the government is using 100 million as a minimum uh, balance. But in actual fact, it should have come to what? 765. If 765 at least it will be sufficient amount in the in the fund. But if it comes to 100, it means the difference between 75 and 100 can be drawn at any uh, out. Professor Kwame Adonfren Pong is chairman of the Public Interest and Accountability Committee. Air passenger travels into Ghana has surpassed the pre-COVID-19 pandemic levels. Government now put the number at more than 1 million passengers compared to about 40,000 in January 2021. Deputy Minister of Transport al Hassan Tampoli, who disclosed this to Joy Business, says government is fast-tracking work on existing infrastructure to deal with the pickup in traffic. More and more expansion and aviation infrastructure across the regions, Accra, Tamale, Kumasi, Sunyani, Wa, new infrastructure. One of the longest runways in the country is in Tamale. It can accommodate any type of aircraft. We haven't even gotten into the, the peak season, which is the November, December. Now we have done almost about 1.3 million passengers already. And that tells you that uh, by the end of the year, we surely would have hit over 1.5 million passengers. Deputy Minister of Transport, Al Hassan Tampoli. The Minister of Tourism, Dr. Ibrahim Awal Mohammed, has called on corporate bodies to invest in the tourism sector to contribute to development. According to him, this would help create more jobs for the youth and also propel growth of the sector. He was speaking at the Grand Outdooring of the 20-year vision of Lakeside Marina Park. Investment here is very welcome by governments. We are very happy because tourism has become, global has become a mover in terms of revenues and in terms of jobs. So we want to commend Lakeside for their initiative for their investment and to tell them that government will support them to make their vision a reality. I want to urge other private sector businesses to take advantage of the driving uh, economy and then invest in tourism and other areas. Dr. Ibrahim Awa Mohammed, Minister of Tourism. Ecobank Ghana has pledged to support education projects in the country. As part of its 10th year anniversary, the bank will refurbish the computer lab of the South Laboni Girls Technical Institute. According to the acting managing director, Joanna Mesa, the gesture is aimed at developing the digital skills of students to keep them abreast of the growing technological world. Basically, Ecobank wants to support you know, social activities and also help to bring the poor, you know, up and also develop the community. So corporate social responsibility is usually the theme of this, uh, of this Circle Bank Day. So this year, the theme is Excel with Digital Skills. And so we are here to donate some computers to uh, the school, 21 computers. There's a computer lab who we'll refurbish it and then put in the computers. Joanna Mensah there, Acting Managing Director of Ecobank Ghana. Your stock market update next, then Ecobank Ghana is expected to continue its dominance on the Ghana Stock Exchange due to strong market demand. Let's now hear from Grace Munayin of Data Bank Research. Last week, the market indices closed lower as the loss in the heavily weighted MTN Ghana, along with Societe General and GCB Bank, outweighed the gains in Ecobank Ghana and Benso Oil Palm Plantation. The Ghana Stock Exchange Composite Index lost 0.61% weekly, closing at a year-to-date gain of 27.91%. MTN Ghana dominated trading activity, accounting